We will now begin with the part one, the MCQ or the electronic part for the term three exam. This is for the grade 10 advance. The first question is to graph and analyze power functions. Here we will look into the end behavior first. Look at these two graphs. Now, first one is similar to a parabola and the second one is like a cubic function. Now, the thing is, all the even powers, x squared, x power 4, x power 6, x power 8, or it can be any power, you know, x power 122. If it's even, it will be similar to the shape, like a parabola. It might vary in the thickness over here, it might be flat and then come up, but it's similar to like this. Now, what happens is, end behavior means what's happening at the ends, right? We can deduce it from this graph. All the even powers will have the same end behaviors. Whereas, an uh, odd power graph, when it's positive, both are positive, the right side, it's like this, it goes, the right side will always go up, the left side will always go down. So, this is the function for the odd powers. Now you can see here the end behaviors will not change. You can quite memorize this as well if you want, you know. It's minus infinity to plus infinity. Over here it's plus infinity and plus infinity. I'll explain what this is. See, now there are calculated methods for this as well. But if the graphs are very complicated, you may not be able to interpret it easily in the calculator. So that's why the easiest way to remember this problem is just to understand these graphs. If you have any even power, the right side goes up. So as x tends to positive or negative infinity, so negative infinity means left side, x is negative infinity here, and x is positive infinity means over here, see this side. What is happening to the graph? It's going up, right? If it is going up, it's infinity, that's it. Up is this side, it's going up to infinity. If it was down, minus infinity. So whenever even power, doesn't matter what, these will remain the standard everywhere. See, x is minus infinity, x is plus infinity. The right side, the f of x, or sometimes you might see y tends to, means f of x itself. This is what? Minus infinity or plus infinity. In this case, see, look, right side graph is going up, left side graph is going down. So we write right side, positive infinity, left side, minus infinity. And that's the answer. Now, domain is all real numbers. Range is also all real numbers. But when it is even power, remember, domain means all x values are possible. But is there any part of the graph below this zero? No. So the range means y-axis is only above or greater than or equal to zero. That means more than zero, positive values only. Now, what if it's minus? So if you have minus x squared, it opens downwards. So here the end behavior you can see. For both x negative infinity or positive infinity, it's minus infinity itself because it's downwards. Here, if it's odd power but minus, left side goes up, right side goes down. So as x tends to minus infinity will be positive infinity, positive infinity will be negative infinity. That's it. Now here, always odd power functions are always all real numbers for domain and range. But r the range for the even power functions are... It depends. Now, if it's minus, it's always less than or equal to zero for range. Only values less than zero. And now we will look over here. This is what? A even function and it's positive. So it, its graph will be something like this. Okay. So the end behavior is as x tends to minus infinity. Or you can even write as x tends to positive infinity first. f of x is what? Infinity only. f of x is also positive infinity. So this is the final answer. You can see as x tends to minus infinity, it's f of x is positive infinity. As x to positive infinity also, the same thing. What about domain? It's all real numbers, always. Range is for positive function 0 to infinity. Now here there is one important thing to remember. Whenever you have infinities, right? When it's like minus infinity, comma, positive infinity, you put brackets, it will always be small brackets, this one open brackets okay we call it now when it's a number like 2 which is included greater than or equal to x like this okay 2 is greater like this whenever you have inequality sign the big brackets are used or closed brackets okay now until infinity it will be small brackets 
So here you can see the zero is having close brackets. Why? Because all real numbers greater than or equal to zero are the range, right? That's why. But infinity will only have the small bracket. What about this? Let's just quickly draw it up. The left side goes up and then the right side goes down. So here, as x tends to minus infinity, then x tends to positive infinity. This won't change. What is f of x here? It's going infinity over here f of x is negative infinity. That's it. That is the answer. And domain and range is all real numbers here. So this is it. You can see as x tends to infinity, it is negative infinity, whereas minus infinity was positive infinity. Domain and range, all real numbers means from minus infinity to positive infinity means all countable numbers are included. That said, guys, those are two different types. Same way you can solve the other problems. They are very straightforward. Look at the power and look at the sign and easily write them out. Even over here, it's even power. Now for this problem here, question number five, use a model, shape a parabolic reflector inside a flashlight that can be modeled by this function, graph the function f of x, state the domain and range. Now you need to state the domain and range looking at this only you can tell it is all real numbers uh, is the domain, range is all numbers greater than zero. So I'll just write it out over here. For domain, it would be minus infinity to positive infinity, range would be zero this is closed like this and the small bracket here now how do you graph it up i will show you let's take our calculators now you need to press mode and then look over here seven gives you the table option write the function it is four divided by three and alpha x squared now there's only one equation to graph some of you may not all have this option so even if you have it just press equal to now, where do you want to start? I generally start from, say, minus 5 to 5. That is a reasonable value. You're not going to plot too many points as well. And step 1 is reasonable. Now, we get a lot of values. So, at negative 5 over here, this is the value and so on, right? Since you're having MCQ, you do not need to graph it by yourself. There will be options. Just try matching these values with any one of the graph. The correct graph will be the answer. Now here you can see they have taken values of um, and they have written in fractions but you can write it like this it's absolutely fine. See minus 2 what is the answer it's 5 by 3. Yeah 5 one thirds is 5.333. Yeah 1 one thirds is 1.333. That's the answer right. And also if you want the fraction symbol you can see over here it's 4 by 3. You won't get, a, get it as mixed fractions 1 one third is not there but this is basically 4 by 3. So that's how we do it. And then you can easily check for the graph. So domain and range over here is written. If they ask you n behaviors, both are going upside. So for minus infinity and plus infinity, it's infinity itself. Similarly, over here, there's one more equation. Same thing, use the table method, plot some values and graph it up. You don't need to manually solve this. This column at all is not required. X and Y is more than enough. Now you don't need to take so many values take say around minus 5 to 5 more than plenty so and when you graph it you get something like this especially for cubic graph right please take the values say from minus 5 to 5 because you will have this variation so this is important and you're not going to graph it by yourselves you're going to just check there are four graphs in the option check which closely matches from the table which you got from your calculator so when you match it up you'll get one correct answer that is the end of the question one. If you have any doubts, clarification, please post them in the comments. Please remember the end behavior formulas, x power 2, x power 3, plus and minus. Once you know those formulas, this topic is very, very easy.